They do all the hard work picking out the videos, making critiques and suffer through editing. I just hope in a scene with Bowie, reacting to reactors reacting. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Let's jump right into it. All right, we are reacting to Amy Winehouse, Back in Black. The reason I chose this song is because now I'm not a big Amy Winehouse fanboy. I'm not gonna say that. I know all of her big ones. The Rehab one, the Tears Dry on there on the Black, Back in Black, Back in Black, <laughs> Back to Black. And there's another one. There's four of them that, I, that I'm familiar with. But whenever I hear her voice, like all of you all, the voice is very expressive, it's very deep as far as its expressiveness, not as far as its range, but very expressive. And the music she chose to use is this throwback kind of a, a style that I like once in a while, I like it. So I decided I want to hear this one, Back, Back to Black is probably, I don't know if it's her biggest hit or anything like that, but it, it's a good representation of her style as far as the music style, her vocal style. It's not like novelty, novelty-ish, like uh, rehab. It's pretty much like a standard, like a straightforward American standard, even though she's not American, of course. Um, and the channel reacting is a channel called Generation Gaps React. Never heard of them. They're at 31.1 thousand subscribers. I don't know if they're new, new or if they just started blowing up, but let's not waste the time. This is Back to Black, Amy Winehouse. Let's do it. Generation Gaps reaction. Hello, thank you for watching another Generation Gap Reacts video. We are going modern and listening to Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. I will be honest, I'm not that familiar with Amy's music. I am also not familiar with Amy's music. Okay. I don't think I've ever heard this song in particular, so it'll be really interesting to to hear this one. Yes. I'm not familiar with it. Yes, uh, I, I know she's very popular, so I'm eager to hear her. All right. All right, we're gonna grade this on uh, three categories. The entertainment value of their video to us, the breakdown of the song, the video, whatever it is that they're reacting to, and the, um, their production value. Sounds like production value is gonna be a 10. I can hear them, I can see them. Let's go, no stops, y'all. You ready? Yes. All right, let's get started. Okay, <laughs> no stops. Okay, for people who are not very familiar with them, for us who are who are familiar with her, we know the vibe and everything. When you first hear this, when you first hear her voice, her style, the the type of composition she uses, does it make you feel? Does it make the mom nostalgic? Did she say that's her mother? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm just. I want us to capture what their vibe is like because it's different than listening to a song from the 2000s or a song that is of the 2000s this is not of the 2000s it's of the it's a throwback song even though it's modern it's new if that makes any sense no more stops i'm sorry this is gosh let's go from the beginning sorry y'all we got to do it
It's very jazzy. Yeah. It's giving me that with the piano and it's giving me that kind of jazz old timey feel with the song. And her voice. And her voice, which is incredible. And the opposite of your beautiful love songs. Yes. It's, it's kind of a sad, sad breakup song. Yes. And then, and then the funeral. Well, I think it's kind of powerful when she says, you go back to her and I go back to black. And black, I'm assuming means a dark, dark, dark times. Yeah. Something dark, kind of uh, depressing, you know, melancholy. And the song throughout what we've, we've been through about half the song, it has that kind of melancholy vibe. And her voice even has this aching kind of melancholy tone to it that just goes perfectly with the song. Right. And she's just describing her breakup in, you know, in her way, in kind of a vivid way for her. Right. It's very descriptive. And anyways... I feel like I can't listen to a lot because of the tragic quality of it, but then it's also so powerful and compelling too. Well, maybe it'll have a happy ending, but I like the whole black and white. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's adding to that vibe back to black. Yes, definitely. I, I love that. Yeah. I love that black and white. Okay. First impressions of this channel. Don't let me influence your scoring. Score how you're going to score. And I know some of their fans are here, so we're going to be constructive. We're being honest. So, first impression. I thought the young lady was not going to be very good at describing things. She was very basic in how she was trying to describe the music and the, vo the, the music to begin with. But then when she got to the voice, she, was, she got very, um, very specific. So you can kind of understand, you can, you understand what she's trying to say, but she actually said it. That was good. And then when the more mature lady started to give her feelings, they're on two different wavelengths. She did, the mature lady, young, uh, the mature woman did speak of Amy's voice, but then her vibe went back to the the presentation, the music video, being in black and white, and how it, I think the young lady and them tag teamed on it, how uh, the black and white video is a good representation of the back to black and the young lady, when she was describing the, the, the lyrics of how it's going, you go back to her, I go back to black. That whole connection was good. First impressions, all right, let's continue. <laughs>
Whoa, that was powerful. So I'm assuming the whole funeral is a metaphor for her broken heart. Yeah. Like she died inside. Yeah. Because she went back to black, yeah. which is depression because she lost him. Yeah. How sad, but it's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful song because her voice is so incredible. She has such a unique voice. I think that's why she is so famous because she just has this control, this ability to have this, do these incredible things with her voice. She has this old timey, old mm -hmm. soul sounding yes, voice. Yes. She sings with a lot of soul. She does, yes. And her style of music that I've noticed is, it's, it's kind of bluesy, jazzy, you know, along those lines. With even the instruments, the piano, it, it has that kind of sound to it. So, it's just such, I mean, and then watching her cry at the end, it's kind of a tragic song, but so well written and just, I mean, a gorgeous composition. Everything about the song is just, it's almost kind of soothing too. I've never really paid that much attention to her. I couldn't identify any of her, her music, but her voice is very strong and powerful. I think once you start listening to some of her songs, she's easily identifiable. I mean, oh, her, I'm sure. her, I mean, her I'm voice sure. is so unique. Once you hear, start getting familiar with her songs, when you hear one of her songs playing somewhere, it's just so obviously Amy. Okay, I can see that because yeah. her voice is very unique. It's very strong. Power. I don't know if I can hang for two more minutes of this. I think I got the gist, but I'm going to listen for a little bit more and see if anything allows me to continue to listen. Mm -hmm. Like you said, sort of old school yeah. soul. Yeah, yeah, I love it. And it's just it's just tragic because he goes back to her and okay. she goes, well, first of all, end? she says, I go back to us. Okay. All right. Got it already. How does this thing end? Let's go here. Maybe we won't hear it all again. Bye. Um, this video was incredible. It was. Well, thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a, a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments we'll if there are like. any other songs by Amy. Okay, got it. We're going to give her a thumbs up or a like. Thank you so much for participating in the channel we we'll get out of this bring you back in here okay so let's grade this thing as i said before we're grading it in three categories okay production value a 10 i can hear i can see breakdown i'm giving a 10. they gave their point of view they talked about the vocal performance they talked about the type of music uh they talked about the music video they talked about their feelings of it their interpretation all of that that's a 10. Entertainment value, for me, this is a zero. This is zero entertainment for me. There's no energy. And I, when I say energy, I don't mean like crazy, that Mr. What's his name? Mr. Video, that fake jumping. When I say energy, I don't mean that. What I'm talking about is some kind of a, a, an emotional intensity type of energy and not maybe intensity is not the right word but like um okay let's say presentation oh that was so mind-numbingly boring it's very boring um again it's my first time to their channel it's the first video i ever seen i know i'm gonna get some of their their people unsubscribing because they love them so much and I don't know what I'm talking about because of this video, this video was boring as all. Get out. That's a way to keep from, from uh, cursing. However, however, the only way that this video, in my opinion, could have been entertaining and very entertaining if they were reacting to a song that I loved 
top like top 20 top 30 songs of mine a level 42 song for example if they were reacting to a level 42 song i would be captured by every single word that they are saying because i want to know all the details of what they feel this ain't one of that song so this is not one of those types of songs for me and most songs that I love, this would be a boring presentation for me. Very boring. So that's how we're doing it. I'm sorry, if you have an opinion, please be respectful down there. You can have the opinion about me. I'm putting this video out there. You can say the same thing about me. You can say I'm fake. You can say I'm boring. You can say that um, whatever it is, if that's how you feel, be respectful. And it stays. I don't delete comments like that. If that's how you feel but if you feel differently about their video again the name of their channel is generation gap reacts if you like it go over there and show them love watch their stuff if you don't do not go over there and give them hate we don't do that we're just giving our, our honest reaction all right okay if you love this video which I absolutely know you do you might like 